Two professors at NC State's College of Management set out on a new and exciting teaching venture with students in two very different courses, one undergraduate, one graduate, one in marketing communications, and the other in organizational culture. I'm one of those professors, Claudia Kimbrough, who along with my colleague, Linda Amon Smith, also known as Dr. Lass, developed a plan for students to create engaging, interactive projects in a multi-user virtual environment. In the form of my avatar, Callie Kuhn, I'm going to show you what our students accomplished. While the students and classes were very different, the overarching goals of the professors were the same. To develop analytic skills, creative thinking, and 3D expression through the use of the virtual world Second Life. Each class project focused on culture from a management perspective, the culture of an organization or the culture of a country. MBA students in the organizational culture class undertook projects that provided an in-depth exploration of a particular type of research methodology that is important for managers of organizations. These included survey research, soft systems analysis, rapid assessment, and social network analysis. Students in the undergraduate integrated marketing communications class focused on culture from an international standpoint. Their projects were to create an interactive area where those interested in conducting business in a particular country could obtain information and a sense of immersion in that country. Thirteen countries were chosen for this initial project. Chile, Brazil, Mexico, United Kingdom, France, Netherlands, Spain, Italy, Russia, South Africa, India, China, and Japan. The goal of this work is to begin the process of building a virtual cultural training center for professionals where they can experience and understand more about a culture before they ever leave home. Ultimately, the center will provide a virtual location where students and professionals from different countries can meet and exchange ideas and information. This is a practical, environmentally friendly, and cost-effective means for many global business interactions to take place. Most of our undergraduate student teams had to deal with significant space and resource limitations. Two platforms, high up in the virtual sky over NC State's Wolflands, were created for their work. These started out empty, but quickly filled up with a variety of interesting objects. By mid-semester, when the MBA student projects began, we had located additional space with fewer resource constraints for their work. We even moved two of the undergraduate projects, Japan and Mexico, over to the same location. What started as a huge empty field soon filled with energetic and innovative MBA student developments. Meanwhile, back on the platforms, various countries began to emerge. Some created large barriers between them, notably England and France, while others flowed together in ways only available in a virtual environment. Students worked to develop basic building skills in Second Life and spent considerable time consulting with their professors, often on Sunday nights, in truly non-traditional office hour locations. Student teams met in-world to work on their projects. And one of the nice surprises was the way those who learned quickly helped those who struggled more. This was an unexpected benefit of the process. Some students really enjoyed the fun and communication characteristics of Second Life. As the semester continued, 
vibrant areas of valuable information about research methods took form. Interactive displays incorporated audio and video effects. We were pleased to see some really innovative projects, including a soft systems analysis of a wedding cake planning process. This MBA project offered an amazing richness of cultural information. Country areas ranged from palaces to pubs, a Chilean palace right next to a British pub and 60s style dance club. Along with a jungle representing Brazil was a bullfighting ring of Spain and an Italian villa, as well as an homage to Japanese video games and anime. In fact, the richness of Japanese culture was captured in a seven-story building. The area on India also covered significant amounts of information using limited virtual resources. This ranged from dress, religion, and cuisine to business practices and Bollywood. In China, there were areas to learn as well as to meditate. One of the China team members was so engaged in the building process that he built and rebuilt the China area four times. He started with prefab buildings, but soon realized that these buildings used too many resources and learned how to build from scratch. When I first got on the second light, I thought it was going to be uh, fairly difficult to first start how to learn, so I wanted to do as much research as possible on other people's experiences on second light. So what I did is I went to Google and I googled second light. Come to find out there's second light's been around a long time, there's a lot of people, a lot of information on it. There's everything from websites to uh, video tutorials. I've had a lot of fun with Second Life, and really the possibilities are endless. Several of the students later indicated that resource and space constraints forced them to be more creative and selective, an interesting consideration for future projects. In fact, students also offered useful recommendations for our future use of virtual worlds, ranging from improvements in lab access to required use of microphones for voice chat to setting specific visitor goals for project areas. Virtual worlds such as Second Life have a significant learning curve and require commitment on the part of faculty, administration, and IT personnel. However, even with what first seemed like daunting tasks from some of the students' points of view, by the time the semester was over, most reported positive experiences with virtual worlds and could see the benefits from a management perspective. We saw many more benefits. Engaged students, creative students, helpful students, and students we got to know better than we could have in the traditional classroom environment.